got a virus it's a curse that turns people into monsters if you show your true desire you turn into a monster what am I talking about I'm talking about a Netflix series coming from South Korea that I just sat through 10 episodes and it's called Sweet Home now Hansu is the main character he loses his uh, sister and brother I mean sister and parents in the car crash and he becomes suicidal and moves into this apartment complex and strange things start happening he starts noticing things really weird far out things now there's very very uh, different characters in this movie with their own type of uh, problems and I guess uh, true desires that they have that start turning them into monsters or we see a profuse amount of blood coming out their noses and they get quarantined and then we see a, a few of them turn into monsters it's you know there's a uh, number of characters but the one other character that I just could not stomach at times was uh, Yun Yu and she's like a wannabe cool for the room character and it's annoying you know and at one point her brother slapped her and I was thinking right before that happened I said somebody should you know somebody should do something to her put her in her place and then her brother slapped her and I appreciated that because she was somebody who every time there's a traumatic thing or something she would just look at the person and go are you gonna have a pity party are you gonna keep doing that are you gonna keep uh, you know being down on yourself like every time something happened to somebody I would always see her come into the frame and I go okay what is she gonna say this time we did we do start seeing a little bit of her kindness and a little bit of her heart as the series goes across to an end so I'm like well, okay at least they showed that because it was like one of those things where it's like he was trying too hard to be that type of a character I you know and it didn't ruin the, the show for me you know it really it didn't you know but it was just like it's getting a bit much you know like you know it's, it's, and, you, and you find out that the reason why she's doing that is because there's a lot of characters that you see in shows or whatever they did they put on that tough facade that that thing where nothing bothers them but then you find out that they had a traumatic thing that happened in the, and they're trying to hide it through that tough bravado and that's pretty much what she was uh, doing so I kind of been like okay I can understand why she was like how she was doesn't take away from the fact that she was annoying me you know but uh I stomached her. I, you know, she was a, a, a she was a decent character. I mean, she not, there really wasn't a bad character in this show. Uh, I think they all did a, a good job. You know, but uh, just you know, this show is it was so weird, and it really, 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 and really, really out there. You know, I mean, the monsters came out of nowhere with no explanation at the beginning. Yeah, we find out that the you know where they come from but that explanation is crazy you know I enjoyed this but I found that the episodes dragged on you know feeling like each one was two hours instead of you know and rather than the near hour run they were like pretty much like 48 minutes 52 minutes something like that and you know the monsters vary there isn't a twin amongst them heck I seen a Venus flytrap head on one and a spider looking thing and even one of the supporting characters looked like cousin it from the Adams family once he turned you know and this guy was a real old sleazeball he was a really uh just a straight up jerk abusive to his verbally abusive to his wife and a couple times threw her down a couple times um, you know and I was just like okay well whatever happens to him happens and it did and then the wife ended up uh you know bashing his brains in and she he actually apologized under whole that whole make under a whole, uh, whole monster uh, thing that he was turned into and he told her that he was uh, sorry and then she cried and said oh, why did you wait to this long or this long at this moment to tell me that you know she was ever the doting wife but she was abusive it's one of those things where it's like I'm glad he turned into a monster I'm glad he got his ass uh, you know killed but um you know I'm watching this and then um I said to myself as soon as this one instance happened 
It's like, why aren't the leaders of militant groups or gangs in the same South Korean uh, movie or show, why do they always look, you know, the same? You know what I mean? And because the one guy that was like their leader, looks like the the leader of that militant type gang, uh, um, of that, you know, unit in um, Peninsula. Scar, frazzly long hair. You know, arrogant is, is all that, and you know, just killing people while wanting, wantonly, just killing people for no reason and pushing himself around. You know what I mean? And uh, when they showed up, it killed the vibe of this of the show. You know, I was coming along, I was along, I was along for the ride. I was, you know, watching it, and I'm going. Like I said, it's weird. It's out there. It's very, very just confusing at times. But then. They kind of clear it up, but then you get confused some more, and then it's, it's weird from here, it's out there from there, you know, it's, you know, it's just, it got me go to the point where I'm like going, what's going on sometimes, but at the same time, I'm like going, I still am into this, because I can, you know, I, like I said, and though I like this show, it was interesting and different, It, but like, you know, it really lost me, you know, I can appreciate what they tried to accomplish, but in the end, there was a whole lot of what the F, you know what I mean? It really was. If, if you someone want to tell me what is uh, one word or something that you can explain uh, of this show called Sweet Home, and I would say what the F, W T F. That would be the three letters that I described this show. Uh, it was uh, very interesting. It was different. Uh, I liked uh, the seeing the monsters in this thing. You know, the monsters. A lot of them. You can see the CGI, and some of them were like people in costume, like if they're close up or they're, yeah. But if you see them far away, you see them jerky, herky jerky type of movements. They tell it was CGI. I don't know who was behind the CGI, but it actually looked like uh, like a 1980s uh, thing. And some of these creatures, even that one real big one, that one real big one, that looked like um, kind of looked like a smoothed out version of Thing, or even the Hulk, where he was big old bald head and pretty really hulky, you know, stuff like that, and. He looks like something out of a uh, out of an 80s um, horror movie, like just the design of it. And then some of them, you know, like I said, you see you see a spider-looking thing. You see uh, one that looked like it was nothing but goo. It was a gloopy thing, and and they kind of uh, it was green. And the kid um, actually was saved by this. Uh, there was two kids, and this one boy was saved by it. And in the end, those guys, you know, burned it. They didn't know it was if it was. Uh, nice or not but the kid uh, was convinced he even con was convinced that it probably was their father who you know had to use VC die in, um, in one early uh, episodes but um that's all I gotta say about this it was uh, quite a uh, an experience um, it really is something that uh, I don't know if I will watch the second season because it just to me it was like it really just you know Everything that I needed to see, I saw here. I don't know if I want to go through this experience again of seeing it. Episodes that take too long, you know, to kind of, you know, move along. I mean, like I said, it didn't bother me. I still watched it, but it really drained me of my energy. Like, just watching the episodes and all the craziness and all the weirdness and all of the things that you see in this, uh, you know, this show. Don't know if I'd be able to watch the second season, but... You know me, I'm a trooper, and I will uh, check it out if there's a second season. I, I've tried, I tried looking it up. If there was, I didn't really see anything. But uh, more, more likely, you know, I mean, this thing didn't look like, you know, it um, didn't really look like that. It, you know, it just came out. You know, it just came out this month, or I mean, last month, uh, December. So, you know, they have a lot of time to figure out whether or not they're going to bring this back. But. Um, yeah, those are my uh, that's my recap and those are my thoughts of Sweet Home, a South Korean, you know, apocalyptic horror South Korean television series, you know, and you know, that's just it. That's all I can say. So uh, for those of you who stopped by and uh, checked out this video, I appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care.